In this quick video, we're going to look at 11 easy steps to prepare a garden for winter and how to winterize your raised bed garden or in-ground garden. I cover topics such as weeding, planting garlic, cover crops, adding compost, and mulching. Stick around to the end and I'll share some helpful steps you might have not thought about that will ensure you have a successful spring garden. This is Tim from Organic Backyard Gardening. Get right into it. Number one, weeding is essential in the fall. Unattended autumn weeds can harbor disease and lay the roots for future weed problems. Furthermore, after the first frost, spent and rotting material should be removed from the garden, added into your compost pile. This is the first step to prepare your garden for winter and ensure a beautiful and healthy garden come spring. Step two, remove any irrigation components. If you have an irrigation system, you want to remove any components that you won't need in the winter. This will help prevent any damaging that might occur if they're left out in the elements. You also want to winterize the system by blowing out any water out of the drip lines to prevent them from freezing or bursting. See my video down below for a detailed walkthrough on how to do this. Plant garlic. Fall is the best time to plant garlic if you want to harvest the following summer. By planting garlic in the fall, the roots will have time to become established before the coldest weather sets in. After planting, add mulch around the garlic. This will act as an insulator against the cold and will also help prevent soil erosion. Heavy rains can wash away the top layer of soil. Mulch can help moderate moisture levels. Unmulched garlic plants are also more susceptible to weed growth, which can impact yields, so mulching is important. See my video in the description below for a detailed walkthrough on how to plant garlic. Plant cover crops. Every season, vegetables that grow in your garden take out nutrients from the soil. Planting cover crops in the fall help feed the soil. Cover crops add nitrogen to the soil. Cover crops are also known as green manure because they add valuable nutrients to the soil. They improve soil structure, increase water infiltration and retention, and reduce erosion. Cover crops can also suppress weeds and help control disease and pest. What are some helpful cover crops? There are many good cover crops, but some of the most popular ones include alfalfa, hairy vetch, winter rye, and annual rye grass. Here I am planting winter rye and hairy vetch mix from high mowing organic seeds. I sprinkle the seeds and then gently rake them into the soil. See my link below to high mowing organic seed cover crops down below. Now, if you're not growing cover crops, no problem. Instead, add a layer of compost to the soil. This will give the compost time to break down and provide nutrients for your plants in the spring. It's important to use organic compost. You can make your own compost or purchase it from a garden center or nursery. Having it delivered is typically the cheapest option. Use Google Maps, zoom in on your location, and type in organic compost. If you see some suppliers pop up, give them a call and see if they deliver. See my composting 101 guide in the link below. Step six, cover the bed with mulch. Mulch helps with soil compaction and erosion. Mulch also prevents winter weed growth and provides food and habitat for soil organisms. This will help them thrive throughout the winter. I like using leaf mulch, which I pick up with my mower. After applying the leaf mulch, I spray it down to prevent it from flying around immediately. However, I did find that adding dead branches over them help further prevent them from blowing around. Straw is also a wonderful mulch, and I find it blows around much less than the leaves. However, it's not free like leaf mulch. Step seven, fall is a great time to start thinking about adding new garden beds. By getting a head start on preparing the beds in the fall, you'll be ready to plant come spring. Not to mention, fall is a great time to be outside enjoying the cool weather before the winter sets in. So. Why not kill two birds with one stone and get a head start on your spring gardening by prepping your beds in the fall? Step eight, maintain your garden tools at the end of the season. This is a little something that I could get better at. Gardening tools require regular maintenance to prolong their lifespan and keep them functioning properly. At the end of the gardening season, take some time to clean your tools and inspect them for damage. Sharpen any dull blades and oil any rusting parts. Fluid film, which is made from sheep's wool, is an all natural solution that you can use to help prevent rust on metal tools. Repair and replace any broken parts and store tools in a dry, protected place until next season. 
With a little bit of care, your gardening tools will be ready to help you create a beautiful garden next year. Nine, fall is an excellent time to take notes on what went well and what didn't in the garden. By keeping track of what worked well, you can make next year's gardening season even better. Not to mention, it's a great way to reflect on all your hard work and see how far you've come. Think about what you want to grow more of or less of and what varieties grew really well. As the leaves begin to change color and the temperatures start to cool, now is the perfect time to start planning your garden for next year. This is where I can really help you. A great way to get started is by having your custom plans created with my website, planmygarden.com. This website creates custom printable PDF schedules and plant placements based on the crops that you want to grow and your garden layout. Having a well-planned garden is essential for a successful growing season. So take advantage of this planning tool to set up your garden for success. Use code YouTube for a discount at checkout. 11. Organize your seeds. Fall is a perfect time to go through your old seeds, reorganize, and identify which seeds you need more of for your garden next spring. When reorganizing your seeds, be sure to check the expiration dates. Many seeds only remain viable for a year or two. If there are some that are expired, it might be time to replace those. Fall is also a great time to buy seeds to beat the spring rush. Gardeners should always be thinking about what's next. There are a few simple things that can be done in order to winterize a garden and make sure that it's prepared for spring. By weeding, planting garlic, adding compost, and mulching, you can ensure that the soil is healthy and rich. Additionally, it's important to take care of garden tools and to reflect on the past season in order to be more successful in the future. By taking these simple steps, you can have a beautiful and healthy garden come springtime. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to check out our other videos. You can subscribe in the link below and also check out our other helpful links I've added in the description below. Happy growing. See you in the next video.